Seraph versus. Just tell me when we're oh, we're left. We're, are we left? All right, folks. We're about to get started here for round one. Here, smash attack at the University of Pittsburgh at Greensburg. Uh, very exciting here tonight. First an event we have hosted at Ping Greensburg. Ping also hosted by our Nerd Fighters organization here on campus. For our first feature match, we have Seraph versus Nudge. Seraph on the cloud, Nudge on. Looks like Zero Suit Samus. So, uh, or not. They're figuring it out. Alright, Nudge is, uh, don't know what he's doing, I'm going, if I had to pick one, oh, Captain Falcon, Nudge on Captain Falcon, Seraph on Cloud, gotta respect the pink Captain Falcon, always going with the strength and the classic Black Cloud. So, tonight we got about 31 contenders, we're pretty excited for that, for our first tournament, uh, hoping to hoping to make this a standard thing here. I encourage you to make sure you give us a follow here on Smash Attack. We are the Westmoreland County's premier Smash group. So here we get go. You got your classic cloud charging up, trying to get that Smash ready. Get that limit break ready, get that one hit kill. So, I'm not gonna lie, I am a classic melee player. Smash 4, not my game, but I do enjoy watching it. So, this commentary, do my best here, folks. If you wanna talk trash with me in the, in, the, uh, in the chat, you know what? That's fine. I probably deserve it. Alright, Nudge getting some good stage control here, guarding the edge, but gotta watch out for that limit break that Seraph has already going. You see that glow? It's a one hit kill element. It should not be enough to kill, and it is not. So, let's see here. That should be a kill. That's one stock down for Cloud. Nudge coming back up. Really good stage control by him. Really good edge control. So, look for. And that's one of the big reasons you want to play a Captain Falcon. You got that. You've got that range. You've got that speed. So you do want to avoid those close-up battles. We do not want to get hit by that limit break. That is going to be a direct hit. Um, at this percentage, tough to say. So, nice juggle there. All right, Kevin Falcon getting down to critical health there. One nice limit break should be the stock. Throw good counter there. Getting that limit charge back up. So, all right. Captain Falcon still going on. Oh, getting that, getting the grab, getting the down smash. All right, evened up now. Cloud at a decent per decent percentage here on that second stock. So, if you can get a couple nice hits here, even it up real, real quick. Missed the juggle there, but recovered nicely. So this might be trouble there for Cloud. Nope, back on. Seraph is our organizer for tonight, too. Want to give him a big shout out. Thanks for putting this together. All right. Cloud getting at that critical percentage. One nice combo from Falcon. Probably will do it. All right. Okay, oh, there we go, nice, nice, nice. All right, this should be, let's see if Sarah can get back to the stage, he can, nice break recovery there. So, it's getting to that point though that just kind of rinse and repeat here for Falcon. It's gonna be a, okay, 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 we're, we're making some moves here, we're making some moves here. Nice block there, nice uh, hesitation there by Falcon, anticipating that uh, charge coming through. So let's see if Cloud makes it back, back on there. So. All right. 
Okay, all right, that is a really nice, Cloud is making an excellent comeback here. Seraph is an excellent player, knowing his role, knowing what he can do to come back. So, at this point, it's going to be the next kind of big combo that should finish this off, this match off. There we go, that is an excellent comeback by Seraph there, taking the 1 0 lead. Uh, had the control for most of that game. Nudge did a really nice job with that first stock and a half. Something just kind of fell apart there. Um, second second half of that first match. So, right. We see Nudge in concentration there. Seeing if he is going to be picking a new character. Sticking with the Falcon. Um, like I said, it was a... Sorry for having some stream difficulties here. I don't know what's going on, but it's okay. All right, we're heading to Smashville for round two. Smashville for round two coming back. So, here we go. Once again, you got the classic claw strategy. Get that limit break charged up. So, just kind of feeling each other out. We do see our Falcon a little more hesitant this game, not going in quite as fast, trying to get those combos. Hasn't dropped one this game, though. It's has shown some nice concentration on this. But we've got... Okay, good, good, good. Oh, maybe a little mistake there by Seraph coming, losing control of the stage, giving it back to Nudge and his Falcon. So... It's kind of clear at this point, at neutral, Captain Falcon's really, really holding his own. So, and I think that's really what Seraph has got to do, is keep this off to real nice, real nice down tilt to finish that stock off. So we got Captain Falcon um, up one stock here. Um, get to that higher percentage. Cloud can finish this off here without taking too much damage. We should be right where we were with that first round. So, let's go take one nice combo here, get a limit break off, get a full limit break off, should finish this stock. Falcon, do a nice, best part here, especially if you're a newer player, is just get that, when, you, when you're up that stock, get as much damage you can and um, get yourself farther ahead. So, he's doing a pretty good job with it. Got a little bit of damage on that second stock. Um, is it realistic for him to hold on? Probably not. So, thought that was going to be it. So this is where we were back in that first match here, where it looks like Falcon lost a little control of the stage. So, and that's just not a great look for him, but he is getting that damage in the clock, doing what he needs to do. Good edge guard there, real nice edge guard, and that is all tied up in the match. Really, really nice match from Captain Falcon. Really clean, really didn't drop any of his combos. We'll see if Seraph decides if they want to do a character switch. So, I don't anticipate it. These matches have been pretty even so far. Um, as long as Falcon keeps control of the stage, he hasn't had a whole lot of trouble. When you get in those scramble situations, Seraph seems to be really having the advantage here. So, in these matches, our best two or three here for our opening rounds, three or five for our finals. So, characters stayed the same. Let's see what stage we're going. Okay, switching up. Going to Garden of Hope here. Going to Garden of Hope. Now, she really doesn't look super excited about this, so this is going to play into Seraph's strengths a little much. Oh, never mind. That must have been a misclick on the stage. Misclick on the stage. So, our counterpick stages for tonight's tournament are Dreamland 64 and the Omega stages. So, I got a feeling that's what they were going into. Thought it was a little weird they were going there. Maybe that was a gentleman's agreement. No, just a mistake. So, let's see where they were intending to go. So, and we'll get a lot of background noise here. We got a, like I said before, we got a really nice crowd tonight. They're also doing a couple other tournaments here. So, we're back in Smashville for this last match. Seraph versus Nudge. So, alright, about the, about the same start as before, you're getting that strong start there from Nudge, looks like he's willing to give up a stock, oh, hold on there, really strong start, 
up a lot of percentage right now on Nudge, so it's gonna be it's gonna be tough for him to come back here. Cloud has really got to start making some some moves. It looks like Nudge and his Captain Falcon are getting a lot more comfortable with it. He's avoiding those scramble situations like he did in that second round of the first game. I think it's going to be real, real tough here for Cloud to come back, um, especially with Captain Falcon at 13% on that first stock stick. So, all right, back onto there. Seraph trying to guard the edge of the stage a little bit, having some success. Um, see if we can bring this back. If we can get a quick kill here, never know what's going to happen. So, but it looks like we had Seraph nudge back on the stage with his Falcon. Um, a little bit of a scramble situation, but nice block. Good use of his shield there. Uh, close to breaking, but I mean, when you've been playing as long as he has, you understand when it's going to break, when it's not. So, all right. So, we got a nice, a nice pick up there. So, Captain Falcon at 126, Cloud at 38, looking good. So, but Falcon's back in that position that he feels pretty comfortable in, um, keeping control of this stage. So, a little bit of scramble there. So, we got round two getting going here, too. We're finishing up our first match here in round one as a feature match they get a little extra time. Here's a nice kill by Cloud at 59% though still um, on that second stock. If we can get some quick if we, if we can get some quick damage in here, never know. This might be a comeback similar to game one here. Looks like Nudge is kind of getting back into that little same pattern he was. Not as clean, a little reckless. Um, if Cloud can kind of bait out a few things, get a couple limits in there. You never know, and that's one of the best parts about playing with Cloud is you get a nice limit break in there, get a couple combos with that giant sword, which we all know probably not a realistic sword. But here's the thing: we're playing a game where Bowser and his kids can fight Mario or Cloud or Ryu. So who are we being realistic? Okay, there we go. There's the kill by Captain Falcon. Nice side smash to finish that match off. And Nudge takes his first match of the tournament. Sends Seraph to the loser's bracket. We're going to get round two started in just a couple minutes here. But once again, this is Smash Attack at the University of Pittsburgh. Greensburg hosting this event here in Village Hall. Uh, Nerd Fighters is a sponsoring organization here on campus. Uh, really excited to get that going. Really excited to get that competitive gaming going. So, 